Hello, Nerd Report. This is Lewis here with a review for Glass. Now, before I start my review, I want to remind everyone that we're going to be hooking up some lucky subscribers with free advanced screening passes to Glass in select cities inside the United States. But in order to be part of that, you got to listen to this entire review because sometime between now and then we will be, or I will be uh, providing information on how you could win. All right. So on to the review glass directed by Mr. M night Shyamala, who brought some great films like the sixth sense signs and the village to us. Now, this movie is the third installment of what I call the Unbreakable Trilogy, which started in 2000 with Unbreakable, then in 2016 with Split. Now we have Glass to conclude things or continue uh, the storyline. That's up to uh, the movie makers like M. Night to see if he has more stories to tell, but let me tell you, uh, I want to see more because this thing was like three thumbs up if I had an extra thumb, okay? <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> now, let me tell you why I thought the movie was so good. Now, this is there's been a, a huge anticipation since the original movie Unbreakable uh, for M. Night to continue with this franchise. And for some reason, it took a long time. So he finally got back to it with Split. Everyone was surprised because uh, of the twist of it being connected to that franchise when they first saw it. So this film right here, like the other two, is pretty much a superhero movie that's told in a very unique way, in my opinion. Why is it so unique? Well, it's not really part of an established comic book. That's why it, it's so interesting. I mean, the story is, you know, it's new as it goes. Yes, there's a lot of references to comics and there, there's a lot of uh, cliches to what we understand uh, should be in comic book movies and comics, but the entire thing is very, very unique and you don't know where it's going. Plus, the movie has a lot of drama and it has a little bit of horror sprinkled in there because I believe these films are like PG-13, maybe uh, Split was R, I'm not sure, but there's some brutal stuff there which leads me to believe that, you know, it's kind of like a movie that's kind of unleashed, not as uh, confined to being family friendly as most superhero movies are. So I think that gives it a little bit of a, of a spice and is part of what I really like about the Unbreakable movies. M. Night Shyamalan is one of those directors that pays attention to a lot of detail. The color, uh, the, the set designs, uh, the, the characters, and uh, just things that are happening in the background. you got to really pay attention because they may come to be part of the twist. And I'll tell you this, there is a major twist in the movie uh, as expected, but I'm not going to tell you what that twist is because I want you to go and see it in the theater on opening weekend, uh, IMAX if you can. Now, how would I compare this movie to the MCU or DC film since it does fall into the superhero uh, genre? As a matter of fact, one of the highlights of Comic-Con was showing the trailer to thousands of enthusiastic fans. So this is obviously a little bit, uh, way, uh, maybe a lot lower budget to make. So I'm thinking there's way more practical effects because of it and i think that contribute to the realism of the movie and i think it's a plus which leads me to think or suggest that maybe some of the bigger studios should cut down on the budget of the movies and uh, give us more character development because this movie was heavy heavy on character development and establishment and that is why it's so good i mean that is one of the big strengths with this film the cinematography is spectacular the way it's shot uh every shot is just beautiful the score just like the other films are amazing the actors and actresses that return or that are added to this movie are just 
so so good sarah paulson who's a mysterious character a mysterious new character and you're trying to figure out what is she about is she a good guy is she a bad guy is she neutral what the heck is going on with her anna tyler joy is casey cook she returns from split and she is wonderful one of the uh new young actresses that I think in a few years is really going to have some sort of Oscar nomination or she's going to be so big. James McAvoy returns and that dude is, he's actually better in this movie than in Split. And you know, in Split, everyone was like freaking out of uh, what a great job he did with the multiple, multiple personalities. And he does even better. I think he deals with even more characters and it's creepy because it's one person with different freaky characters coming out of them and that's just weird to watch man but it's a treat trust me uh bruce willis is david dunn we get to finally see what he's been doing through these years what has he been doing with his powers he is a uh, the security guard he is the guy the guardian angel uh, looking for bad guys and trying to stop crimes before they happen and uh, it's so so awesome to be able to see him elijah price is mr glass and samuel jackson goes next level uh acting in this film and there's a lot of there's a lot of facial expressions that you're going to be surprised because you've never seen uh samuel jackson do this kind of stuff his his range in acting in this movie is outstanding i would say that the biggest uh problem with this movie is that I wish it was two hours longer. <laughs> Why? Because the characters were that interesting. Okay, so let me get into a little bit of a spoiler here. The movie is, in fact, a slow burn, just like uh, the other two films. So it's very setup heavy. There's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of setting up the situation. As a matter of fact, there's no real dialogue from Samuel Jackson to like an hour and 15 minutes into the movie. But by, all, by no means is this a bad thing. It's a setup to awesomeness and once it the movie kicks into second gear it is uh it is really good the payoff is great also let me tell you there's a couple twists in the film not just one so pay attention there's two things that really 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 stood out for me uh watching this movie and once again it's the score the score is so emotional it's so memorable and it's so it's so good. I mean, it really elevates the film to a different level, a higher level. And if you follow, um, if you follow me, you know that to me, music is uh, one of the things that really brings the movie. It can make or break a film. It's very important for me. And I think to a lot of you out there as well, mu the, the score here is outstanding. Another thing that I want to mention is the fight choreography. Yes, there's a lot of fights between um, the superheroes or, or the super beings here. And the way it's done, it's just brutal, man. It's just brute strength versus brute strength and and it looks so realistic so all in all this movie is going to keep you on the edge of your seat wondering what the heck is going on and uh i just want to thank M. Night Shyamala because this dude tries to give you a good film every time out but not only does he try to give you a good film he tries to do something different and that should be rewarded I hear time and time again people complaining about that Hollywood has uh, run out of original ideas and stuff. Well, this dude is really trying to be original. All right, and on to how you could win free uh, advanced screening passes to Glass. This is what you do. You subscribe to a Nerd Report YouTube channel. That's the one you're watching right now. Then you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Then you comment below. And finally, you send us an email at contest at nerdreport.com we will send you uh, an email if you win we have a few cities in play um, right now and hopefully it's your city so make sure to include your city and uh, we will send you free passes if uh, they're available and uh, good luck with that don't forget to subscribe to the nerd report youtube channel nerd out